Hi everybody, Don Giannetti, DonGiannetti.com, Project52ProSystem.com, and Lighting-Essentials.com. Yeah, I got three websites, sue me. Um, <clears throat> all of them having to do with photography and uh, making, uh, making photography a, a career. That's one of the focuses we have at uh, Lighting Des Essentials and Project 52. Um, I still believe uh, photography is a great career. Um, it's different than it used to be. I think there's a lot of people on the internet, a lot of people on Facebook. Oh, God, don't get me started on Facebook. A lot of people out there, oh, woe is me. There's no work. There's no nothing. Yeah, really? Well, go on the internet and go and look up professional photographers in Tucson or uh, uh, New York City or Buffalo, New York or Tacoma, Washington, and you're going to find a whole bunch of people doing what the people on Facebook say they can't do. They can't do it because they don't want to work at it. Is it easy to be a professional photographer? Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. It's not. But did you want to do something easy? If you do, send me a self-addressed stamp envelope, 10 bucks, and I'll get you the local uh, Walmart um, warehouse. You can go do something easy. Anyway... We're going to talk about shooting chocolate. This is part one. There'll be another part two. This is not a tutorial. We're not going to go into, you know, showing you where the lights are. We do have some tutorials planned, and I've got some links down below to a couple of really great tutorials over on Lighting Essentials on shooting chocolate. But chocolate is damned hard to photograph. Just like being a professional photographer is really hard, photographing chocolate is really hard because fingers will leave marks. Uh, anything brushing the chocolate will leave marks. If you're working in a studio that's very hot, the chocolate will get very soft and begin to, to fade, to, to, to droop. Uh, if there's a lot of humidity, you'll get condensation sometimes on the chocolate. And once that happens, really not a whole lot you can do. Uh, this is a beautiful shot here by Brett Doss for our cover. And as you can see, the lights above it, we've got a beautiful highlight above it. Uh, look at this great liquid highlight through here. A little bit of a specular going here. That specular tells us how shiny this uh, material is, this, uh, this red rope of stuff. It tells us how shiny it is because the transition between the specular and the true value here is very sharp. So even though the light is soft, it's a big, soft light, this very shiny, shiny material, uh, red chocolate or whatever it is, is really is reflecting the specular at a very sharp transition so we know that it's a very sharp and shiny chocolate look at the beautiful um, transitions right in here and we've got a uh, nice highlight quick drop-offs very fast transitions all through here so we know this is very shiny chocolate the next shot not so shiny right this chocolate isn't as glossy as that last piece of chocolate because we don't have any big speculars. We don't have any uh, fastly falling off transitions, except maybe right here in this little raspberry right here. That lets us know this raspberry is a little bit shinier. This raspberry here, they're a little bit shinier than these nuts. The nuts do not reflect the light the same way something shiny does. We call it efficiency. How efficient is the surface at reflecting the light source? This is a beautiful shot by Aldr Albert Madre Madrileos. I'm sorry, Albert Madrileos. Got to get that right. Uh, beautiful shot for the class. And um, uh, look at all this great detail in here. Very large, soft light coming from above and slightly behind right over here. Just right up in that area coming in. Very large light very soft across here still giving us beautiful highlights all the way through here and a nice little shadow tone underneath it albert madrileos charlotte lawson found these um really incredible little little guys now these are the these are the ones that are just tricky as hell to shoot because if you pick them up you're going to get fingerprints on this chocolate and once the fingerprints on the chocolate, now you've added hours to your um, to your uh, post processing, and you've damaged the chocolate. And now, if you turn it at certain angles, you're going to get highlights off those fingernails or fingerprints. I'm sorry. Uh, notice the nice little highlight here. You can see the soft box, right? 
can see the box in here. It's far enough away that the edges are, are softened. This is not a scrim. This is a soft box. Got a little white card on this side. The chocolates are very shiny, very got a nice gloss to them, so there's very fast fall off in the transitions. But Charlotte was very, very careful moving these into position. I've seen national ads, folks, national ads with chocolate dust and 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 damage to the chocolate. I've seen national ads. Uh, Project 52, that's an unacceptable image. If it's damaged, if you've got a bunch of chocolate dust, if you've ever opened up uh, 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 something with chocolate in it, you'll, know, you'll see the chocolate dust. It's real fine uh, stuff that, uh, it's very fine granular stuff that gets all over the chocolate. You can't have chocolate dust in your photograph, so be prepared to deal with it very carefully. A little bit of compressed air, a very soft, very soft makeup brush can sometimes be used. Uh, but just make sure that you don't screw it up and give us a bunch of fingerprints. Dawn Gardner, God, isn't that delicious? Um, she really cleaned up these chocolates because they were damaged actually when she got them. Um, not to the naked eye. You know, you look at them, you go, oh, that looks pretty good. Then you take a photograph of them and you see every little nick and banged up edge that there is. So uh, Dawn went through the, uh, the entire box, uh, picked out the ones that worked the best for her fix them as best she could in in uh, real time, in the analog part of this thing. She made them look good. She brushed them with just a little bit of oil. Let them sit for a little bit. They take on that nice luster that we see here. Um, and then they look great. So was there some Photoshop? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got a little bit right there, and a little bit right there that, that Charlotte could come back and take out. But uh, is it, uh, you know, does it kill the image? No. Um, there's a there's a lot of work to do when you do chocolate. Absolutely. Beautiful highlight up on top, which gives us, look at the gorgeous highlight on the on the caramel. You see that? That lets us know. You see that quick transition? That lets us know how shiny that caramel is. Very much more shiny than the white uh, frosting, right? We don't see any highlight on the white frosting, right? No, not necessarily, because we wouldn't see a highlight on the white frosting because it's a white frosting. Highlights are light or white in color. You're not going to see that highlight on that frosting. Just isn't going to happen. Got to have something dark to see the highlights on. Beautiful shot by Don Gardner. Uh, and again, light up, up above the set with a little kicker. Can you see it? See that little kicker coming in? Boom, hitting that berries right about there. Just popping a little kicker in over the side. Could be a shiny card, could be a, a, a fill card. Could actually be a, a light source with a you know a little bit of diffusion over it. Because it's not a hard light. You can see it in the berry. It's not a hard grabbing light. But you can see it's a different right here. If you look at that, I'll move it around more. That little berry there, you're going to see a softer, big, soft light up here. You're going to see a smaller, slightly brighter, more contained light coming from this side. The kickers are really great. Don Gardner. Kamai Hajri did this great shot. Look at the beautiful highlights in that chocolate. Mm. Uh, Kamai also uh, did a great job with the berries, hiding. Uh, there were a couple of... Uh, stems without berries so there's a couple of these guys just sort of sat down in there to hide those stems you can't hide all of them but you can hide a good deal of them and that's what our goal has to be is to make it look as best we can we got some nice top light from from the uh, both sides we got one over here you can see the highlight and we got one from over here uh kamai wanted to have a very uh very poppy very striking shot and uh, he knew that these highlights on the, all these ridges would really pop with the light over to the side uh, being reflected off that very smooth chocolate. Great shot. Kurt Moore, photographer up in Central California. A wonderful still life photographer who I'm hoping decides to go uh, pro pretty soon because his work is definitely there great shot we've got uh, beautiful highlights down the side of this guy right here 
Look at the look at the glass. Look at that soft light. You see how it's very bright and then it goes softer? That's a scrim. That's the telltale sign of a scrim. The light is close to the scrim, so at that point we get a very bright light, but then the scrim is three feet wider than the soft box behind it. So while the scrim lights up, it gets slowly darker as it moves away from the light source. Absolutely perfect. And then he added a uh, snoot, or I'm sorry, it was a grid from right above to come right down on these chocolates. You can see the, the highlight here, really bringing these chocolates out. Some of you are going to ask, how did we get that very bright line there and not have any light over here? That's called Photoshop. It was shot separately and blended in. Kurt is a very good photographer. All my photographers, all my Project 52 photographers are great. Um, we're going to start doing some uh, interviews with them, by the way. So if you're watching this this video uh, when it came out, which is uh, it's now June uh, uh, or July 6th, uh, if you're watching right about July 6th, you're going to see in the next couple of weeks a bunch of interviews with uh, some working pros and some uh, soon-to-go pros photographers uh, from Project 52. Really going to be fun. Melissa Wax is a pro down in the L.A. area. Uh, she mostly shoots people these days, but Melissa did a really great job with this uh, this uh, pear and uh, the chocolate dripping down on it. Just a lovely shot. Window light, if I remember right. Um, could be a very large softbox. I don't actually remember, uh, but I think it's a window light with a scrim. I'm seeing a nice, beautiful in here. She lets the background fall off. Notice she doesn't, she's not using any fill or any of those things. She didn't want it. She wants the drama of that one light source coming in uh, from the side here. You see him throwing the shadows to the left. Though the light is to the side, but it's also a little bit up because it's throwing a shadow down. Do you see that? So up light, down shadow, side shadow. So, um, and then that is in the same, in the right position then for this great reflection. Neville Palmer's my buddy up in, in uh, near Calgary, and a uh, uh, great photographer, very, very detail-oriented. It's all about details when you're shooting chocolate and this type of thing. It's all about details. And um, look at this great frosting swirl on here. Look at the detail in it. We know it's nice and shiny because we've got the highlights. It's got his light up above, dropping the background out to dark by using a flag in front of the light, letting the back the background go a little bit darker, picking up this great texture up front here. And by careful, careful use of fill cards and, and the such, we have this great, wonderful light hitting this, this uh, muffin or whatever this is, and we can see the texture all the way through this muffin. We can see all the little highlights in there. Just a really great shot by Neville Palmer up in the uh, up in the great northwest of Canada there. Richard Neubeck, which is a, <clears throat> Richard is a uh, I believe a German or Austrian photographer. Um, great shot. He uh, opened up this uh, this paper, put the items down below it and shot it. Shot it a few different ways and then I believe composited a little bit here. Um, it's been a while since I've seen this shot. So Richard uh, Rich is a really good photographer. It would not surprise me if this was done in one shot. Not at all. It's really, truly a uh, good photographer, solid photographer. Um, <clears throat> but I think there was a little bit of Photoshop just to keep these guys a little bit brighter back here. Beautifully done. What a nice concept. And notice how clean the chocolate is. It has to be absolutely clean. So that's a quick look at uh, shooting chocolate. And I hope you enjoyed it. It's Richard Neubeck. And we have Neville Palmer and Melissa Wax, Kurt Moore, Cam or Kamai Hajri, Don Gardner, Charlotte Lawson, Albert Madrileos, and my buddy Brett Dost up in Seattle. Hope you enjoyed it. Listen, if you like this videos and how we break things down and you want to uh, catch me every time I put something up. Hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it, and uh, you'll uh, you'll you'll be happy you did. That's. I'm only thinking of your happiness here. Okay, so 
Don't, I mean, you know, hit the subscribe button and Nirvana, baby. It's all yours. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.